Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bushwhacking History in Buffalo with Berserker Bear. I got a quick one for you today. I was out for a walk along the Bird Island Pier uh, about a couple weeks ago on a beautiful blue sky day. And my specific aim with this video is to showcase the speed of the Niagara River underneath the Peace Bridge. Right where the old water intake was constructed in 1875. It's a main focus of a, the work that I do here in Buffalo. It's always been an interesting facet for me, that intake structure. It looks like a triangle, maybe like a sunken ship, which is what I thought it was back in the day. Full circle now. I, I know that it was the old water intake of Buffalo. As a matter of fact, it was the second water supply of the city of Buffalo after the Jubilee Springs wasn't able to uh, suffice the whole population. So then in 1875, that intake pier was constructed in the middle of the river with a uh, current that's about 10, 12 miles per hour consistent. Now I've done work on the foundations and piers of the International Bridge, which is about a mile downstream. But I want you to keep in mind as you look and see the 4K footage of the speed and ferocity of this water at that location. And I found data and articles about the tunnels that were excavated to it, but I have yet to find anything that details the construction of the actual crib itself. Now, I'm not saying that it's wholly impossible. I am saying that I have some serious questions, though, about how it was constructed in that current. I'm very familiar with ca coffer dams and caissons. As a matter of fact, in doing the research for the International Bridge Foundations, I've I deep dive the heck out of those two data points, coffer dams, caissons. I've yet to find any information about coffer dams and caissons being placed into current 12 miles per hour and up. And that's exactly what that current is at that location. So if nothing else, I'm just showcasing the speed of the Niagara River there. And we could use this to track back to for reference for future episodes. Like I said, it's going to be a short one but it's an important one. Also, there's a little bit of realm earth gravy that's interjected here because along that Bird Island Pier, which is now the Noack Pier, you'll see that, a lot of logs wash up, just like on the shore of rivers, but that is a, a catch for logs that come down the river through the lake. And there's a really cool log that has a really specific feature, and I just real quick juxtapose that with some, like I said, realm earth gravy. So without getting um, too long in the tooth, as I like to say, Let's get right into it. Keep in mind that I have questions on how that water intake crib was constructed in 1875 in that current. And if you could, I would like to elicit help from my viewers. I know you guys are very smart and you're very intrigued with the work that I do. So how else better would it be for me to get some information and data input from you guys? If you could find any information about the construction of the pier intake crib underneath the Peace Bridge that I've been having questions on ever since I was a little kid. So let's get right into it. You're watching Bushwhacking History in Buffalo with Berserker Bear. Keep in mind there's some Realm Earth Gravy interjected. Let's get right into it.